There's another really special holiday that occurs in May, and that is Mother's Day. Now, I know a lot of people really like patronizing the flower shops, the card stores, candy shops, and everything, but the idea behind Mother's Day was a little bit more involved than that. It was meant to celebrate the sacrifices that mothers make. It was meant to celebrate everything they do to help raise their children, bring them up to be really good people. What it meant was it was encouraging you to spend time with your mom. I mean, it's nice to get flowers and chocolates and a really nice card for them to hang on to and remember, but the flowers are gonna die. Let's be honest, you're probably going to be eating more of the chocolate than mom does. And in case you hadn't noticed, behind every box of chocolate that you take off the shelf, there's another one just like it. Another one of the cards just like the ones you picked. But the one thing that only you can give is your time. So this Mother's Day, spend some time with your mom. If you wanna take her out for brunch or dinner or breakfast or something, that's great. But spend time with her. Maybe she needs help with something. Maybe she needs you to come by and do some chores around the house that you know she needs a hand with. Maybe you little kids can figure out ways to do something nice for your mom. Like for today, you're not gonna talk back. For today, you're gonna try and anticipate what she needs to have done without her having to get back to you. You're going to not make a lot of noise. You're going to let her have a nice restful day, but above all, you're gonna let her know that you really love the fact that she's your mom. And so to all you mothers out there, to all you dads who have to be moms, to all you foster moms, stepmoms, adopted moms, everybody who's taking time out of their life to help nurture and raise somebody to be the best they can be. Happy Mother's Day.